Okay, a big question I have, and so many yeah. of our viewers have, is why is property in Accra becoming so expensive? Mommy! Mommy! Dream day get me on! Fuzzy. here huge wardrobe here and we give a towel and a bathrobe so you know bathrobe with our company name behind and our logo in front so this is just for you I'll show you the restroom so this is the master's restroom and we try to have some comfort and luxury so our rooms with a lighting system where it goes off and it comes on as well okay so we, I, I have a footrest here where you can sit on to watch television or you can put your stuff in. So my question is with this room, I guess every other room, yeah. is, is the television included, the bed, it's Everything furnished? Everything you see in the video is for you. The lighting, right. And then we've got our built-in wardrobe. Yes, we can show you. I'm always about the wardrobe, I love storage. Okay. Anything to do with storage. All right. We can show you the space. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. And then you've got a dressing table here as well. So yes. you can add a mirror. A mirror, yeah. Wonderful. If you want, we can yeah. always fit it for you. Just like Easy. that. Easy. Yeah. 
space. Like if a tenant wants to put things up on the wall, pictures, mirrors, or make any changes like that, how do you feel as, as a landlord about those things? Yes, I think uh, it's a point to pay attention to. I, I just want to be consulted. That is it. Yeah. Because when anything is going to affect the, the original nature of the building, I just want to know about it. Yeah. So that we see what the impact of it and what we can do to correct it when in case you want to leave or something like that. So, okay, amazing. Yeah, I think it's doable. We just need to talk about it. Okay, that's yeah. fair. So now I'm going to show you the second, last room, what I call the guest room. All right, so please come in and have a look. So we have another huge bed, even for yeah. the guest, even if it's a child, is really big and comfortable. Yeah, it's a good child's room as well, but it's a good size for yeah. a second adult. Exactly. Yeah. Good size for a second adult. And please help me with the wardrobe. Yes, my favorite bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we have a wardrobe also for an adult or also a child. And I've noticed both rooms have air conditioning. Yes. The whole house is fitted with air conditioning. I like the blinds, that's pretty funky. Yeah. <laughs> I've not seen these before. Yeah. So you get to have a view, but it's just blocked, you know, also for your security. So it is high fitted. I want you to have a look, please come. High fitted for your security so that there is no one really having access. It's netted really high. Mind you, we are on the first floor of the apartment. So this is fitted really high. The restroom as well, that is the bathroom also. Yes, and then Thank you so much for showing us. Yes. So what got you into property here in Ghana? Okay, um, I would say it was by accident. Okay. Because um, uh, there was a time I was trying to get a place for my family to live because we were renting when we came to Accra. I was originally not in Accra, so I was trying to get a place for the family to, to live. Yeah. And then I got a property, uh, say a land at Community 25, which is outskirts of Accra. Okay. Right? So I started to develop it, and then I realized it was too far for most of the things I wanted to have for the family. Uh, I had to drive a lot, traffic and all that, so I now decided to look into the right place to get a property that was going to be convenient for me and my family. So fast forward, we started looking around properties and got to this area, and realized that this area was close to most of the places I'd want to go generally in Accra. What kind of places? Like the mall, yeah. like the airport. Um, like most shopping centre close to East Ligon. So, you know East Ligon is a very busy place for yeah. shopping and entertainment and all that. So, education as well. So, for me it was a good place to start. So, at the time East Ligon was quite expensive. So, we came here which was okay for us to get a place. Yeah. And then we started to look around. I got a place and I realised that there was a little problem with how people the developers were building their houses, okay, how fun. they were finishing it up, mm. how they were doing it. I felt it was not good quality enough. Okay. So I wanted to bring something different and diverse to the market, something close to all the things I was looking for and that somebody else would want to find. Yeah. That was one. And also get you a property that you love to call your home. You know, you don't have a problem today with this or tomorrow with this because somebody is thinking only about profit but something about, you know, quality that you can enjoy to stay in. So I found myself now trying to research into it, looking out how to do it and make it nice, blah, blah, and then here I am. And here you are, yeah. amazing. And it's a great, it's a great place yes. as well. So if somebody was to come here, what sort of things are nearby? Okay, I would want to say the airport is about 35 minutes from here. Is that all? Yes. Okay. Um, we have a crown mall which is about 25 to 30 minutes from here. We have East Legon with all the education, um, schools, entertainment places, and all the places you want to go. Yeah. That's about 25 minutes from here. And close by, very close, say five minutes, two minutes from here, you have various shopping centers, like every place filling station for your car, um, eating places, restaurants. We have a Malcolm 
um, for those of us familiar with the Ghanaian system, is a one-stop shop for almost everything you want, including furniture, groceries, everything. Yeah, it's a bit like Walmart, but smaller exactly. version, isn't it? Yes, yeah. yes. This is located about five minutes from here. So I think you have almost everything you want close by. Yeah. Yes. And talking about education and yeah. schools, there's a actually quite a major school around here, isn't it? Yes, yes. Which one is it? The British International School. Yeah. It's just a stone throw from here, actually. Yeah. We yeah. even considered that school because it is, it's got such good reviews and it's, yeah, it's only yeah. literally, you can probably see it from the top as well. Yeah. Yeah. How about future in terms of your properties? Yes. So do you have plans to do... At the end of this project, when we finish and we sell out yeah. or we rent out, I mean, these are the number second people I'm looking for. So that they come and say, Mano, let me help you build two apartments.
are not meeting up. Right. So these three factors normally impact price. And I think there are more, but I think these are the main ones that are really affecting price. In, okay, in, in that government. really explains it, because yeah. I get asked that a lot. I ask that question all the time. Yeah. Why is Accra so expensive? Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you so much yeah, for that. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. We hope you found that useful. We'd love to hear your opinion, so please comment below. What are your thoughts on the cost of property in Accra, renting and buying? And guys, please like and subscribe in three, two, one. Way, welcome to the family and see you in the next one. Bye.